We're at Fire Station 88, and we're going to talk to Captain Arnold and Dustin Clark. So this is our swift water rescue. Let's begin with this apparatus. Captain Arnold, you want to tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here? This is our um, swift water rescue team vehicle. Uh, it has four members on it. It has a, a lead, a driver, a technical specialist, and a rescue a rescuer. Um, any incident in the city of Los Angeles involving uh, swift water needs, this, this type of vehicle will respond to the incident. Excellent. And we see all these compartments that are open. Captain Clark, right here, there look like throw bags. You want to explain what those are to the public? Yeah, these are swift water throw bags. They, inside the swift water throw bag, we end up having a floating type of rope. In the bottom of this bag is a flotation device. The purpose of these is to end up having a rescuer stand on the shore and be able to throw these into the middle of the river. Bag ends up floating. The victim can end up obtaining that and end up penduluming the shore. Got it. And let's look at this next compartment. Ken Arnold, you want to give us an idea of what we're looking at over here? Yeah, a swift water incident is a very technical incident. So we have different types of ropes, carabiners, pulleys, harnesses, capturing device to be able to grab patients and, and bring them back to shore safely. So this device has a lot of those, those resources for us available. All right. And we have, uh, let's see, what about canines? Anything we do for dogs that are different? Well, you know, funny that you end up bringing that up, Captain Scott. Over the years, we've had an opportunity to end up not only affecting rescue on the constituents of Los Angeles, but also their pets. Uh, we've had several instances recently that we've had to end up utilizing pet harnesses to end up hoisting them up and out of the water, pet flotation devices, and even further, we have pet resuscitation devices that we can utilize to resuscitate your pet. Not only serving the constituents, but their pets too. There you go. Now about the tail end of this, what do we have? So just like in, along the waterways, they're all very secured. So this is a rotary saw just in case we need to get in any gate. Um, some of us like to call it the key to the city because we can get in anywhere we need to get into. We have a life ring for flotation if we need to, to send flotation to a victim. We have uh, a second boogie board, we call it a rad board. If we need to, to float down the waterway to, to, to capture, it's another option. Um, some ladder, just a varying array of tools that we have here. So just in case, whatever the problem is in front of us, we have a tool that we can use to help solve the problem. And sometimes that includes going in the water. Absolutely. So what do we have over here, Captain Clark? Well, we're looking at uh, each swift water rescue vehicle is equipped with two personal watercraft that's staffed by four members, two drivers and two rescuers that will ride in the basket. We also end up having an inflatable rescue boat up on top that can end up having uh, outboard motors placed on it. We can utilize these that apparatus either with motor or without motor. Uh, that can end up having two to four people in it. We can utilize it in uh, moving water and stagnant water to end up doing a wide area search. So both of you have been doing this for a while. You've seen different people get stranded in the LA River for different reasons. Can you give us a couple of tips that people can avoid? Maybe Pat Marnell give us an idea of what people should not do. So I think the most important thing to recognize is that when there's any moving water of any sort, stay away. Don't get near it. Even the smallest amount of water to a few inches deep will sweep you away and, and you'll can take you be a problem forever so don't uh don't go near the waterways um and be mindful of your the friends communities pets anyone else that's there as well and to piggyback on captain arnold uh moving water in vehicles less than six inches of moving water can end up sweeping a vehicle that is uh trying to move across the moving waterway or what we refer to as arizona crossing can sweep that downstream and end up putting those people's life in danger so a good thought process is to stay away from the waterways. Don't end up fun and frolic down in there and uh, keep everybody out of harm's way. Well, thank you both. You heard it from them. Just six inches of water and sweep you off your feet. Thanks, Dad. Honor and privilege, sir.